Hello, my name is Jerome and welcome to my RC construction YouTube channel. Today I'm working on another repair of my Lisu SK500 LC excavator. When I was playing with it last week, my right track motor stopped working. And when I came in and started troubleshooting it, I found out that the ESC here had burnt out, actually, this is the one right here. It stopped working and I figured that out because I took the ESC assembly apart and I swapped ESCs between the right and left and the right one stopped working. The left one no longer worked. So the problem moved with the ESC. I went on Amazon and ordered the exact same ESC. Let's see if this will focus right here. And these cost, I don't know, maybe around 15 to 20 bucks. So I bought two of them just so that if one fails in the future, I won't have to wait for the order to come in. But it was nice ordering from Amazon that they arrived at my house in two days. In addition, when this first stopped working, um, this track motor first stopped working, since I've already had to replace the inner gears four to five times, that's what I thought it was initially. So I pulled the gears out of here and I found out in the back of here that the motor wasn't turning at all. So I traced it down to the ESCs and previously, this part here, if you can see the grooves on the inside, it sits inside of here and all of the gears roll around inside of here. And Toucan Hobby has sent me another one. So I replaced the one in there because this one here was suspect. I had a new pack of all the gears to go in here, but I did not put them in there because the gears... Uh, when I disassemble it, everything looked pretty good. So I figure I'll continue riding out those gears. And when they go bad in the future, I have more to put in there. So one thing I want to show you about this ESC. Let me get rid of this light. It's too much reflection. When the ESC comes from the store, these ends here are what go to the motor. And it's going to come exactly like this. However, you have to have these brass pieces on these wires to make a connection. And so I had to desolder them off of the bad ESC and I soldered them onto this brand new one. One problem you're going to have inside of here is going to have solder in it once you... Um, remove it from the old ESC. So what I did, I took a cordless drill and these are tiny drill bits. I used the 1 16th drill bit and that 1 16th drill bit will fit nicely inside of this hole. It's not too big, not too small. And one side, I just drilled out the solder from the other side in order, in order to get it to fit onto these wires so that I could solder them on here. So let me, uh, right now, what I'm going to do is hook this ESC up to make sure that it does make my track motor work. And after I do that, I'm going to actually install it back into the excavator. So with that, give myself a little more lead sticking out with that let me show you how this is going to work okay so these three leads right here are what i'm going to plug this into and the first thing i have to do they had some heat shrink cutting covering these so that they don't short out to each other or anything else. 
inside of the excavator. So I'll put the heat shrink on. Actually, I'll probably put some different heat shrink on because these are very loose. But for this experiment, I'll plug these in. And if you happen to plug these in and the motor doesn't work, change, unplug them and plug these into different ones and give it a try. Because sometimes when you have these brushless motors, you have to plug certain wires in certain places. So I'm going to plug this black and red wire into this distribution box and then plug this into the receiver and give it a try. Okay, I got everything turned on. Powering up the transmitter. Powering up the excavator. I'm going to push the bucket down to lift this. Actually, I don't have to lift it up because it can turn. All right. It's a no-go. I can hear the motor trying to turn, but perhaps there's a problem when I put the gears back together in here. I wasn't able to test them. So I'm going to take this apart, make sure the motor's working correctly, and then give it another try. I don't want to grind up these gears by just continuing to push the lever to make the uh, to make this track drive turn. So now I'm going to disassemble these gears. Okay, I have all the gears out. So let me power up my transmitter. Excavator is on. So the motors work, works, but it's not turning correctly. So I'm going to swap out two of these wires because I believe the problem is the phasing of the motor is not correct. I didn't think about that before I took that whole gear assembly apart. These wires are not color coded. So it's trial and error. So 
so it seems to be working here left track channel one I'm going to have to adjust the trim so I'm looking through let me show you light so here on the remote control if you can see left track trim switch number one which is I don't let me see trim T1 which is this switch right here so what I'm going to do is go to display servos and I can see left track one which is here if I when I click this button turn the light back on if you can see the motor it's no longer turning now before it was just kind of spinning on its own so I adjust the trim to zero it out and my motor's working so I'm good to go so now I will reassemble all these gears and try it once more as soon as everything here is working correctly i will reassemble the top half of the excavator but that was a good thing for you guys to see how i was talking about you got the three wires that plug into the excavator from the esc electronic speed controller they have to be in proper phase for the motor to work well and work at its maximum efficiency. So now I will start reassembling this motor. All right, I have enough of the gear assembly together in order to try the motor. So here we go. So we are in business. So now I will continue the reassembly.
All right, I've got pretty much everything back together. All I have to do now is install the track and make sure that I'm good to go. Wow, that was loud. All right, so. I'm trying to turn it so you can watch me put the track on. And that completes the final repair of my SK500LC Lisu excavator. First time I had to replace one of the ESCs, electronic speed controllers, but now I have an extra one. Those are 20 amp speed controllers that control the right and left track. And for the pump in there, it actually uses a 50 amp. ESC and I did order one of those and it'll probably be here in a couple weeks. I may have ordered off Amazon, but they also have it at a main hobbies here in the United States. All of these parts are sourced from the United States. I'm not getting them from overseas, but I'm back in business. So hopefully in a couple days, I have some days where I work from home and I finish early, I will be out digging again. So look forward to some videos. That's the end of this video. If you like what you saw, click like. If you know somebody that can use this information, feel free to forward a link to them. Feel free to subscribe and I will keep you guys posted on my adventures with the excavators. See ya.